AI-driven robo-taxis, when released, are going to be nasty. Yeah. They're going to be so dirty and gross, they'll make riding on public transportation in New York City seem clean. You'll know what I mean if you've ever ridden the subway and seen a strange puddle on the ground that smells like pee. You'll get the picture if you've ever hopped on a bus and seen dust flying up from the seat you just sat on. You'll understand if you've ever been on a subway and saw a garbage dump piled up in one of its cars. And all of this nastiness and filth is going to carry over to driverless taxis. But why? Why will Tesla's robo-taxis and autonomous vehicles be so disgusting? Why will they be so foul and repulsive that most people will want to avoid them more than a P. Diddy party? Well, by the end of this video, you'll have the answers to those questions. Plus, you'll find out why some vandals will try to get a robo-taxi to drive into a river. The idea of robo-taxis have been around for a long time now. With the advent of Uber in 2009, self-driving taxis were supposed to be right around the corner. I mean, who wants to chit-chat with a talkative Uber driver at 8 a.m. on your way to work anyways? I'd rather have someone punch me in the gut over and over again, to be honest. Instead, it would be nice if a silent and driverless car a car that resembles more of a living room on wheels, picked me up on my doorstep and took me to my grind of a job. At least I could kick my feet up and work on my computer in that case. Or at least pretend to. How many people in corporate America are actually doing work eight hours a day? Come on, man. Plus those work from home days are pretty much vacation days to most employees. But that's a whole nother rabbit hole to go down. Not talking to the driver is just one small benefit of robo-taxis. If you live in a city, you could ditch your car altogether and use these autonomous vehicles 100% of the time. Doing so would allow you to say goodbye to that $500 or more a month car payment. It would allow you to ditch those annoying oil changes. And it would let you avoid those unexpected breakdowns altogether. You know, the ones that happen at the worst times imaginable and the ones that seem to cost way too much money to get fixed? Is it just me, or do I feel like I'm always getting scammed at the auto repair shop every time I step in their doors? I don't know, maybe my face just screams sucker. And even if you never wanna use ride sharing for yourself because you think it sucks, Tesla is promising that you can rent out your very own Tesla car or truck as a robo-taxi and earn daily profits. Supposedly, you'll be able to make $30,000 a year off your very own car. It would essentially be like an Airbnb for vehicles. So this all sounds great and has been promised to the general public for years now, especially by Elon Musk. Back in 2019, over a million of these autonomous Uber-like vehicles were supposed to be on the road within a year's time. Obviously, that never happened. Delays caused by technical and regulatory issues kept moving Musk's timeline back year over year. It turns out that engineering fully self-driving cars, cars that don't need a driver, is much harder to implement than imagined. Just ask the self-driving car company Waymo. They had countless real-world crashes. But even with all of these setbacks, Tesla, the main player in the robo-taxi race, is finally on track to release their cars in 2025. And when they do, these suckers are gonna be all over the place. They're going to be more prevalent than Amazon trucks in neighborhoods with stay-at-home moms. Dads out there, you'll know what I mean. So what's the catch? These robo-taxis sound pretty cool, and they'll be available to hire in the not-too-distant future. The catch is that there's one glaring problem with robo-taxis. They're going to be disgusting and dirty. They're going to be dirtier than a Motel 8 hotel room that hasn't had its sheets cleaned in weeks. Just imagine what's went on in those rooms over time. These driverless cars are going to be filthy for lots of reasons. Douchey frat boy guys will use these taxis to get to their late night booty calls at 3 a.m. after a long night of drinking at the bar. Can you say vomit all over the back seat? Sadly, the homeless could use these vehicles as their sleeping quarters or as a safe haven in brutal winter conditions. That's because these autonomous vehicles will be dirt cheap to use. Elon Musk himself said robo-taxis will be just as cheap as using city buses. And some general riders will use the car as a bathroom. When people have to go and they're stuck in traffic on the highway and they know no one is watching, they're gonna do what they need to do. These are just a few examples. I mean, think about the things that happen in your life 
Just yesterday, I had a crazy run-in with two high school kids. I reserved a room in my local library to help me research this YouTube video, the one you're watching right now. The room was scheduled in my name for 3 to 5 p.m. But when I arrived, there was one kid sitting in the room who looked like he was doing homework. I knocked on the door and told him through the glass that I had the room reserved. He said, okay. But right after he said that, this girl out of nowhere pops up from underneath the desk soon after. I don't need to tell you what she was doing to him. Your imagination can fill in the blanks. I was just completely shocked to say the least. So if that kind of stuff is happening at local libraries with people around, just try to picture what's going to happen in the back of robo taxis when there's no human driver in the car. And it's not only that these cars are going to be completely contaminated, they're going to get vandalized as well. A driverless car just screams, vandalize me. Have you ever seen what e-scooters look like in any major US city? I live in Cleveland, Ohio, and the scooters around here are so dented up and dirty looking that most people don't even touch them anymore. There's even a trend where people are throwing scooters into rivers throughout the US. Individuals are apparently doing this for pure fun and also as an F you to corporate America. So if e-scooters are getting trashed, imagine what will happen to robo taxis. There's so many people that hate Elon Musk out there. I'm not one of them. I love the guy that their hatred is going to spill over into physical violence against robo taxis most likely. But say that violence doesn't happen. Just with everyday use alone, these cars are going to stink, be dented up, and be tagged with graffiti constantly. And once again, before the fact-checking cockroaches come out of the woodwork and say, no sir, you're wrong. Tesla is addressing these cleanliness concerns. They filed patents for a self-cleaning car system. It will automatically steam clean cars from within and use UV light to sanitize the interior. Well, you are correct. They did file a patent for that. But seriously, there's not enough steam in the world to clean up bodily fluids from a back seat that has six inches of foam. Nasty bacteria will penetrate that for good. Even if these taxis are taken into a cleaning service once per week, they're still going to get gross over time. Not only that, but imagine using your own car as a robo taxi, a car that doesn't have any self-cleaning features. Do you really want your Tesla to pull in your driveway after a few days of working? only to find it completely trashed or with some weird smell that you can't get rid of? I'm guessing that answer is a no. So when robo taxis are a thing and they're all over the place, take a moment of pause before pulling out your phone and ordering one to go on a date with that girl you've had a crush on for years now. Because who knows if you do end up taking it when you get out of that car, you might stink just as bad as it does. That's it for tonight. If you want to hear more interesting AI perspectives, check out my other vid, When Robots. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.